Hello, it is Monday, October 30th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday puzzle, which means, of course, we are about to solve a relatively gentle uh, themed crossword to kick off the starting week. And this um, entree to our starting week has been brought to us by Kathleen Quinn, Quotidiophile, Overhaul, over full hitbox, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are, of course, sustaining this channel, bringing us this series. Very grateful for their support. Thank you to them. Thanks to you if you're a patron. Thanks to everybody who is. And if you would like to join that group, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. There you can find the bonus videos available to patrons, such as the recent mini puzzle pseudo speed solve and the latest Boss Words Fall Themeless League competition puzzle, and the official mug for benefactors. Thanks again to everybody who is a, a patron. And thanks as well if you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, any of that sort of thing. Thanks if you've done so. Please consider if you haven't. Uh, it's a big help. And uh, finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server via a description field link as well. It's a nice friendly chat community. and You can um, check out the discussions about these videos, these crosswords, other puzzles, and other crosswords. All right, let's get on to uh, today's crossword. Speaking of puzzles, it is, oh, I completely forgot to, to see how many puzzles. I think, I think I might have, this might be a debut. I'm not sure. Sorry. I forget if I look this up or not. I think it might be a debut puzzle. I'm not certain. In any case, it's by Kenneth Cortez and it was edited as always by Will Shorts. Um, it's a Monday crossword, so it will have a theme. And actually it looks like we have two different shades of cell in the puzzle in addition to the black cells. So that will be thematic in some way. Let's start solving, see how we get on. All right. Okay. So oh, that's interesting. <laughs> kind of the opposite proportion you'd expect. Almost everything is shaded except for 16 cells across four, four contiguous groups. Interesting. All right. Well, let's get on with it. Solsinger Redding would be the great Otis Redding. Chocolatey coffee drink would be a mocha. Uh, here we have multi-tools have many of these, many uses, I would think, of a multi-tool. Uh, what magma becomes when it's erupted, right? Magma becomes lava once erupted. Earth Day month. What is, uh, when is Earth Day? Is it April? Um, five letters. It could be March. I don't think it's March. I think it's probably April. But let's let's switch over to the downs, see if we can confirm or deny that. Uh, garam blank Indian spice blend, right? So garam masala, the the top shelf Indian spice blend. Um, let's see, key between con control and command on a Mac, right? That would be the option key on a Macintosh keyboard. Macintosh. I guess I don't use that phrase anymore. I don't know why I decided to say that. Uh, gunky residue could be crud, maybe. Um, sorry, my phone keeps buzzing. I don't know what's going on with that. I thought I disabled its ability to bother me. Let's do that again. Uh, okay. Cool sounding body part. Oh, your hip, because <laughs> you could be hip. And here we have blank Baba and the 40 Thieves. So Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, the classic, classic tale. And then we have that gives us our first, uh, oh no, we know we have an A down here actually. And here we have an I. Um, well, let's answer this this one. Not difficult at all in slang. Stupid easy, I guess. That's sort of a slangy way to refer to something being very simple. And, all oh, right, so we have idea in here. This one ends with an A as well. Maybe this is also idea. Seeing eye dog, e.g. Sorry, I'm just going to, I'm just going to type it in to see if that brings anything to mind. Um... Oh, it is. It's a guide animal. Right. Oh, okay. So I think we can now put in, I haven't done this in a while. I think we can now put idea in all of these because now that we have two, I'm fairly confident that the rest will be that. So what about this one? Game in which one might shout, ready or not, here I come. Hide and seek. There we go. And then one more down here. Stro oh, right. And this is the revealer. Stroke of genius or the theme of this puzzle. <laughs> right. It's a bright idea, I think, because the words idea are literally brighter than the rest of the, the grid. Uh, very good. Okay. Well, there. I think we've, I think we've completed the theme. Um, uh, there might be something else hiding in there. I doubt it. On a Monday, it's probably relatively straightforward. So, I think we might have done it. 
All right, well, let's keep looking. Fetal development sites would be uh, uteri, plural of, of uterus. Uh, colorful marine invertebrate. Um, a star or something? I don't know. No, that doesn't make, that wouldn't work with a T here. Durable wood from the tropics. Oh, teak, teak wood. There we go. Oh, a sea anemone? Enraged. Irate. 90 degrees on a compass, that would be east, right, okay. Scottish Isle and stargazing locale, aptly, the Isle of Skye, right, okay. Um, there we have it. So sea anemone, there we go. Uh, word before link or reaction. Chain link or chain reaction, there we go. Features of rotary phones uh, have dials on which you literally dial the number, which is why we call it dialing a number. No time to dilly-dally. Come on, you might say. Bird of prey. A hawk, I suppose. Uh, cuts as grass, mows the grass. Icon, e.g. Um, an image, right, okay. <laughs> Took me a few seconds more than it probably needed to. Planting a whoopee cushion, e.g., would be playing a prank on somebody. And a ballet bend is a plie. That's the term for a particular bend in ballet, uh, which means essentially bent, past participle in French. Um, counterpart to cones in eye. So the eye I, um, contains rods and cones used for, for vision. Um, tedious task would be a slog. So here we're sort of cutting a, a diagonal sway through the puzzle here. Let's keep going. Uh, blank kebab, shish kebab. There we go. Food item. And theater awards are, uh, in this case, probably Obies, which I believe are the off-Broadway awards, hence OB. Uh, something not genuine could be bogus. And uh, Jackson 5 hairstyles would be Afros, the, the, the one-time pop group Jackson 5. Here we have group with the hits Gimme, 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 and Money, Money, Money. That is, of course, ABBA. Uh, worry, uh, to worry is to fret. And then a boyfriend could be one's beau. And finally, oops, beau, there we go. Finally, cash dispensers in brief are ATMs, automated teller machines. So there we go. We've completed our, um, our diagonal... Uh, slash through the puzzle here. Okay, phrase on gravestones could be in memoriam, I suppose. Um, I always think of that as being in obituaries, but I, su I suppose it must be on gravestones as well. Dressy parties could be, oh, ga a gala could be a, a kind of dressy, swanky party. A Broadway musical based on a, co a comic strip orphan would be Annie, right, from the comic strip. I think the comic strip is called Little Orphan Annie, maybe. Um, I mean, I, I know that I know the phrase Little Orphan Annie, but I think it's because that was the comic strip. Maybe not, though. I'm not, maybe that's wrong. Light on a nightstand. Uh, a lamp. Simple, simple enough. A company for a accompaniment for a tortilla chip would be salsa dip, which is somewhat redundant because salsa means sauce. But there we go. Uh, what the number of spots on a ladybug represents in a common misconception. Oh, age. I've never, I don't think I was aware of that misconception. So I guess I wasn't, <laughs> I guess through ignorance, I was not misconceived. Um, freshwater eel of Japanese cuisine would be anagi, which is, which is eel. And then Sim City is a computer game. There we go. In which you uh, construct an urban environment. Folk singer Guthrie, uh, Arlo Guthrie, uh, the son of Woody Guthrie, right? And then Weeping Willow or Quaking Aspen. Either of those is a tree. And of course, because this is an or clue, we're only referring to either the Weeping Willow or the Quaking Aspen. So a single tree, not plural. Kind of kit with bandages, antiseptic, e.g. That would be a first aid kit. And Frozen Snowman, so a character from the film Frozen Olaf. I do at least recognize that name. Cab, a taxi, taxi cab. Uh, here we have uh, bon, Bonnie Vare, a folk, uh, indie folk band. 
Um, and then a figure skating jump is an axle. So there we go. Uh, we've got an axle and a plie. Beast, uh, one up, one down. A beast sighted in the Rockies could be an elk. Uh, would make sense. And one named singer of the number one hit, Royals. Oh, right. That is Lord. Oops. There we go. Um, me in Paris would be moi, literally me in French. And a newspaper stand could be a kiosk, a newsstand. Bull in Spanish would be toro, that's bull. And investment that investments that aren't stocks, so uh, certainly bonds would be one form of non-stock investment. And crispy plantain chips are... It tostados or something? I actually don't... I didn't... No, I didn't realize those were plantain chips. I, there could be something else that I'm, I'm, mis, I'm misremembering, so I'm not going to put that in yet. Time to cut a cake, for short, would be one's B-Day birthday. And tidy could be neat. You could tidy up a room, neaten it up. Uh, if you enrage someone, you anger them. So enrages, angers. And to render something null and void would be to negate it. Uh, sons of some of some breakfasts would be egg yolks. There we go. As in sunny side up, meaning the yolk on top. A home for Adam and Eve would be the Garden of Eden, biblically. And non-reactive as the noble gases, so those are inert gases, non-reactive. And actor Robbins or Robinson. Uh, Tim Robbins or Tim Robinson? Uh, must be the answer. And then Cleric's House would be a manse, right? So a vicar, for instance, might might live in a manse, uh, you know, possibly adjoining the, the church. And then here we have the phrase, once in a blue moon, and daughter's counterparts would be sons, of course. Goes to as a movie would be, I suppose, sees the movie. Seems straightforward. Uh, common sign-off in a letter could be love, name, so, uh, sign-off, and then mid-leg, is your knee okay? I guess, I guess that's true. I mean, your knee is mid leg, so I guess that's sensible enough. Using ketchup on a steak at a fancy steakhouse, e.g., I suppose would be considered a bit of a no-no. Um, shouldn't need anything on a very good steak, I wouldn't think. Like this, clues number is even. Of course, okay, sixty-two is an even number. Straightforward. Okay, so this is not okay. Good. So. What is this? Crispy plantain chips. Tostona. Uh, tostones. Oops. Sorry, I forgot we were completing the puzzle there. Okay, so that's interesting. I mean, I've certainly had crispy plantain chips. Um, so this word either was unknown to me or had left my memory. So that's a good one to look up. Tostones. Uh, but there we have it. That was the Monday crossword. I think even by Monday, stand Monday standards, this was fairly fairly gentle and approachable. Let me know if you found the same. I'm always curious to know. Um, and let's just quickly review our theme, our bright idea theme. So we had, uh, there's a stroke of genius is a bright idea. We had four of them throughout the puzzle, including this somewhat self-referential one. And um, that's interesting that it says, or the theme of this puzzle. It doesn't say, or something that appears four times. Usually it would say something like something that appears four times or something that appears three other times within the grid or something like that. But nope, it's simply the theme of this puzzle. And we've got an idea which brightens up the grid four times in total inside of Stupid Easy, Guide Animal, Hide and Seek, and Bright Idea. I mean, I can't tell if this is part of the theme. You could argue that each of these is kind of thematically relevant because maybe something that's stupid easy, you sort of solve it quickly. A guide animal, you could say guiding brings you to, you know, a solution or or the or your goal. Hide and seek, you find something, you stumble upon an idea. And then bright idea, of course, is, is kind of self-explanatory in that respect. Um, I don't know if that was intentional with the theme, but you could, you could make that argument, I think. And perhaps I've just done so. Um, there we have it. Well, that was the Monday crossword. Uh, as is usually the case on Monday, I do have um, other things I have to get to. So no clues from yesterday's puzzle today. I'll try and get back to that tomorrow. Um, thanks, as always, if you if you did leave comments about the previous day. And 
Uh, thanks for making it to the end of this video. Of course, I do appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with the Tuesday crossword. Should be another relatively gentle themed puzzle. Join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.